Hey y'all. <laughs> What's the word, baby bird? I guess I should get my mic microphone. Um, today is Wonderful Wednesday. My name is Jennifer Kelly. I am the creative genius behind Elephant Sandwich Social Media Management. And I just keep calling myself a creative genius so that the juices will keep flowing. I love writing content. I love taking care of clients. And today I thought I'd do something fun. And I'd tell you a little bit about some of my clients. I've talked a lot about myself and my business, but I haven't told you a lot about my clients. And I thought today I would share with you five things that my clients seem to have in common. Um, many of them I, uh, I have, I'm friends with, or I knew them, or they were referred to me through friends, but there are, I do have a client that I have never met. He lives in North Dakota and he was referred to me by a friend, but we have not met. Um, you know, if I get that way, I'd love to meet him, but <clears throat> we certainly have talked quite a bit. Um, and I would say that as a, as a rule, I would be friends with or am friends with almost all my clients. We have, there is a connection there. And I think to work effectively, there sort of has to be a mutual respect or some shared values. And so that's, that's something, but it's not, it's not on my list. <laughs> so let me uh, count down my top five things that my clients seem to have in common. And this is just sort of to answer some questions. If you're wondering if maybe we could work together or if this would be a good fit, um, here's a general rule of thumb of the people that I seem to work very well with. Um, number five, my clients are all busy people. They have busy work lives and they have busy personal lives. Um, they're constantly juggling some things. They, um, many of them travel quite a bit or they have um, hobbies on top of their work that they do. And so uh, they are not necessarily people who are going to want to add another thing to their plate. Chances are their plate is already overflowing and they're looking for a bigger plate, if you know what I mean. So number five is my clients tend to be busy. Number four, my clients are successful. Now they're not ever as successful as they want to be. <laughs> um, we're always, entrepreneurs are always striving for better. We want to be bigger, better, faster, stronger, serve more, do good, help out within the community. Um, but they have established businesses that are thriving and, and typically they are looking for social media to increase their reputation, their reach, um, their referrals, their expertise. They may want to add a new market, um, expand to a different area, perhaps uh, create another location. And so growth is a necessary part of what they're doing. So number four is that they are successful, but not as successful as they want to be. Number three is that my clients are all seeking balance. They want a life outside of work. They probably, I would guess that all of them, knowing who I know, that all of them have had that time when they worked a lot, um, more than eight to 10 hours a day to build their business. But they got into business because they wanted freedom and flexibility, and they've reached a point in their business where that's really important to them. They want to be able to have a successful business and have a, a, a life outside of it. Um, number two, they work hard and play hard. Um, and I don't mean that in a glug glug kind of way, I mean, I think I mentioned that before. Um, they have hobbies, they have friends, lots of friends. They like to travel. They want their weekends to be their own, whether that's to go off somewhere to decompress or to have fun with other people. Um, and so, you know, creating some, uh, delegating some of the aspects of their, of their business to others is, is necessary. It may not be their first inclination, but they recognize that it is necessary and having someone they trust is paramount. 
And then the number one thing that across the board, all of my clients have in common is that they are focused on service. Um, while success and, you know, financial stability and all those things are important, I would say across the board, without exception, I'm trying to go through my list of clients. Yep. Um, they all are motivated by a higher purpose and they all have integrity and honesty. I can recommend them with no hesitations. Um, uh, they they exceed expectations regularly. Um, they go above and beyond for their clients or customers or you know the the community that they serve. They use their um, abundance to bless others. Uh, I would say that all of them are engaged in some kind of charitable or service outside of their work, as well as it being a component of their work. And so um, I'm just going to recap. Um, number five, my clients are busy. Number four, my clients are successful, but not as successful as they want to be. Number three, they are seeking balance. Number two, they work hard and play hard. And number one, they are focused on service. And I think you know, I hope that those uh, descriptions apply to me as well, except for this hair is none too successful, but I'm, I'm headed out for a walk. A part of my, um, you know, new, new me thing is that I, um, I need to walk twice a day and I have not yet gone for my walk. So that's why my do is kind of ratchet. <laughs> so if you are interested in social media, I am too. And I would love to talk to you. There are two services that I provide. One is as a social media manager where I will create, post, monitor, and respond to your social media uh, on the platforms you choose. The other is that I do social media coaching where I help clients figure out how to do social media on their own until they can grow to a point where they can delegate that out. And so if you'd like information about either of those services, or if you have a specific question about social media, um, you can comment here or reach out to me on Facebook. I'd love to answer your questions. I'm always here for you. And on Fridays, we have an open forum video where um, we can chat. And I'm happy to answer questions during social hours. So let me know if I can help. That's what I'm here for. Uh, you go, guys go out and have a wonderful Wednesday. And I will see you again tomorrow. Have a great day.